Hey everybody, special 1K subscribers video today. I'm super excited. We are growing like crazy. We hit that magical 1K number. And so we are going to be posting so many videos starting in January, almost 2000 videos in the queue. My wife and I have put together. So we're gonna be doing like three videos a day in 2021. Trying to get through December with all these new clients before we start that. But I wanna do a special 1K subscribers video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Like this video if it brings you some value. And so what I wanna talk about today is the steering wheel of the golf club and the golf swing. And so I can't tell you how many times I have a student come in and I see this with their grip. And if we're gonna zoom in here, I see this right hand and right thumb specifically completely off the side, almost gripping and putting pressure from index finger to thumb, right? Rather than index finger grip and putting that pressure and applying it onto the actual grip. And so what happens is I'll have people come in and say, man, I feel like I'm swinging okay. And I'll have the balls that are like shanked into the housing or hosled into the, into the woods. But I don't feel like I made that bad of a swing. And so what's happening is there's a collision at impact. We have a hard golf ball, hard golf club, with some major speed happening here. And if we don't control that club face with our hand at impact, what happens is this club, if we, especially if we tow it or heel it, is going to spin in our hands. It's going to spin in our hands, right? Clubs have gear effect, right? And they're, they're made to rotate certain directions when you hit them on certain parts of the golf club. We would need to fight that off by controlling what we're doing with that club head with our hand. And so this right hand specifically, in my world, what I believe, the right hand is the steering wheel. So wherever that right hand goes, that's where I want the club face to go. That's how I did all my trick shot shows. That's how I taught Juju how to, how to move the golf ball all over the golf course, because we manipulate that club head with our right hand. So wherever that hand is going, that's where the club is going. If my hand is over here and there's a collision at impact, well, guess what happens? That happens at impact. So I have another camera zoomed in to our screen that will show our slow motion impact from our Unicor. So I'm gonna hold it really loose in that area, which I see a lot. I see tight forearms and super loose hands, especially in these two fingers, right? I'm gonna try and hit a few balls off the toe and hopefully we can see what happens at impact. I'm just gonna take some tiny swings and really try to not shank it, but I'm gonna definitely try to hit it off the toe so we can see what happens if we don't have control of that club face, okay? Let's we'll see what happens here, okay? Hopefully we get a, a good, picture here at impact. Ah, beautiful. It's exactly what I was hoping to see. Got lucky in the first take. And what we're going to see is on that slow motion there, that club head opened and stayed open, right? Because we had no chance of saving that miss hit off the toe because we weren't controlling the club. The club head was doing whatever it wanted in, in my hand. It was just spinning in my hand. I'm going to try and hit one off the toe, but with firm fingers where I have control of that club head and try to save that shot a little bit. As you can see, that face angle was 22 degrees open, okay? Let's do it again. Nice and firm, right? I'm trying to hit it off the toe again, okay? Let's see if I can control that toe a little bit. Okay, I hit that off the toe pretty badly, you can see there. Really bad off the toe. Opened up, but ah, here it comes back, right? And so, as bad as I hit that, that ball's actually only five yards offline, as opposed to in the houses. So I can't stress enough, the steering wheel of golf, the right hand, controls what that club face is doing, okay? There's a major collision happening at impact. We have to control that club head and make it do what we want it to do, rather than whatever happens, happens, because we're not actually hanging on to that club. It's like trying to steer the car, and you're just yelling at it, turn, turn. It's not gonna turn, right, unless it's a Tesla. <laughs> we don't have a Tesla. We need to control what that club is doing and own that steering wheel on our own. So hopefully this gives you some value. I can't thank you enough for the 1,000 subscribers. And I hope you
hope you have a great Thursday, and we'll see you soon.